Celia Rain Laundry. Some of the kids graduating from this high school today have a lot more to celebrate than getting their diploma. When they finish high school, they get given $200,000. You've already got a car, Andrew. You don't need a Maserati. They belong to the Ho-Chunk Nation, a Native American tribe that owns a string of casinos across Wisconsin. Ho-Chunk kids get a share of casino profits once they've graduated and turned 18. It's called their 18 money. It's just like, like basically winning the lottery and you know you're going to get it. <laughs> Cocaine, I was buying large quantities and people were asking me for $10,000, $20,000. And I was like, wow, I'm almost down to nothing. It's the last day of term in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Put your middle name on there, your middle names, all middle names, junior, the third, whatever it is. We've got the list of kids graduating here, amazing names. Danielle White Funder, Justice Hunter Blackhawk, Brent Miles Funmaker II. The Ho-Chunk kids have always got their share of tribal wealth when they turn 18. It's divided equally among the 7,000 tribes members. But since the Ho-Chunk started running casinos, the 18 money payout has gone from $17,000 in the mid-90s to over $200,000 now. What's the first thing you're going to buy when you get the money? Holy cow, like, my mind's going to be so crazy. It's just like, like basically winning the lottery do. and you know you're going to get it. Do you know what you're going to spend it on? For sure, a car. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know which car you're going to get? It's a uh, Maserati. <laughs> Before they get their 18 money, these kids have to register and have a blood test to prove they're Ho-Chunk. But I won't get 18 money. Why not? Because I'm 0.23% short and you have to be a quarter. Now I know that I have to work for my money and everything, or it's not just given to me. I have um, a baby and I was going to get a house and I'm getting um, my car on Tuesday. And my brother, he didn't really like... Boy, the only thing he spent was like a car, and that was it. And then he just blew everything. What did he blow on? Like drugs and alcohol and all that. How long did it take for him to go through all of the money? Um, probably for like two months, maybe. Two months? Yeah, and he wow. just blew it all. How does he feel about that now? Or he passed away, so. Okay, wow. So he must have passed away young. Mm -hmm. Since 2001, kids have to graduate to get their 18 money. Unsurprisingly, graduation rates for Ho-Chunk students have shot up. The non-Ho-Chunk kids aren't celebrating. How does it feel for you guys knowing that some of the people graduating are going to get all this money? It sucks. I'm so upset about it. Because you know that we were, not saying like yeah. I'm racist or anything, but yeah. sometimes you think you worked harder than yeah. they did, and just because they're graduating, they're getting money. Uh, you a bit jealous? A little yeah, bit. I'm going to completely admit it, I'm jealous. We of, wouldn't come out and say that to their face. No. You yeah. think it's unfair, you get money. At that age, for myself, if somebody was to give me that kind of money, I mean, I probably wouldn't be here today myself. <laughs> really? So. <laughs> what would you have spent it on, Wayne? A fast car and drugs and alcohol. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's, it's not a it's ho not, chunk it's, thing, it's, it's an 18 it's, thing. It's an 18 thing, yes. For the moment, most of the Ho-Chunk kids are totally broke. Noah Rave has been told he can't graduate until he pays the school money he owes for books and activities. His friends are having a whip round for him. Thank you so much. He needed 2.49 to, to walk, so we got 2.50. We did it! We got the money! You were almost not going to be able to graduate. How did that make you feel, all your friends pitching in to pay your fees? I felt good, but I kind of didn't want them to. Thank you so much for the excellent school year. Have a wonderful summer. I will see you this Sunday for graduation. It's all good. All right. It was better than what you expected. Cool. It's all good. What's happened? The reason why I didn't want them to chip in because I didn't know if I was going to graduate, but I guess I am. I don't know. Yeah. So you just found out you are going to graduate? Yeah, I guess, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Please give to Noah Rave and remind him that he needs passing grades to graduate. Did the fact that you were going to get this 18 money make you feel under enormous pressure? 
to graduate? Yeah, I guess. I, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Ho-Chunk Gaming Black River Falls is one of six casinos run by the tribe across Wisconsin. It's open 24-7. When it began 20 years ago, it was a bingo hall in a shed. Now it makes a yearly profit of over $200 million. Well, now, you was very, very lucky. I got you the, won. I got to the bonus. How much have you won now? I haven't won anything. I gotta get <laughs> my, I got to get my spins first. Most gambling is illegal in Wisconsin, but this is Ho-Chunk territory, and Wisconsin law doesn't apply here. Most of the people taking advantage of Ho-Chunk laws are retired white Americans. I can't think of a place that better illustrates having a casual attitude to money than a casino. Here, money is just disposable. It's, a, it's something that you play with. And the money that's being disposed of here, that's being thrown away, is the money that goes to these kids. This is Clayton Winishek. He's the ceremonial chief of the Ho-Chunk Nation, keeping traditions alive but staying out of politics, a bit like the Queen of England. To me, in this day and age right now, I feel our children have it even worse than my parents, my grandparents. There's so much out there that take away from who we are, and we're losing our children to it. This money that, that they get, that's a big part of it. When the camera isn't rolling, most white Americans I speak to are scathing about 18 Money. These people who we just spoke to who had really strong opinions said they would not go on camera with those opinions because uh, they were afraid of retribution if they spoke out in this small town uh, against the Ho-Chunk. And I asked them where could I go for an honest opinion on camera and they said I should go to this bar near the high school, a biker bar. I mean, I'm a bartender, Kathy's a bartender. So we see what they do with their money. So that makes you a little sour. Or you see them at Walmart on the first of the month. And the things that you're watching them buy, you're going, really, come on, you what guys. What are they buying? It's just nothing but garbage. And then they turn around and sell it because they're broke and then they want to come out here and drink. So that gives everybody a sour taste in their mouth. When, when we're born, you don't come out prejudiced. You're taught prejudice, you know? And um, it's just around here, that being, and I'll, I'll use the term shoved in your face, shoved in your face, um, I, don't, I, I don't believe anybody's owed that. Do you think that there's prejudice among white Americans when it comes to Native Americans still? Definitely. What are those prejudices? Um, that we're drunk and poor or that all Indians have casinos. I think in reality, there's a few tribes that have found gaming to be successful. Nahoma Thundercloud works for the tribal government. She's giving me a tour of Ho-Chunk land. So we have the Indian mission here, and then we also have Sand Pillow, which is where the casino is located. And then also through purchasing land, we have some housing subdivisions that are in this Jackson County area. You've actually bought some land mm -hmm. with some of the profits from the casino. Correct. You've bought land and American land and turned it into Ho Chunk Correct. land. Correct. Correct. There's a kind of irony to that, isn't there? That it's, there is. This, Definitely. <laughs> they took the land away from you and now you're buying it, buying their land right. back. Right. Or buying our land back. I grew up in a home like that. I mean, they're, they're nice houses, but it doesn't look like they're the houses of, of people where the kids have all got $200,000 when they turn 18. Would you say that maybe? the Ho-Chunk Nation, that you have maybe a different attitude to money than Americans do. Yes, I would agree with that. When you grow up with very limited funds, it's very difficult to plan for the future. We come from a more community thought, not just our nuclear family, but our extended family and making sure we're taking care of everyone. There's more honor or prestige in giving than in accumulating. I'm off to meet the president of the Ho-Chunk Nation at the tribal headquarters. Here it is.
Ho-Chunk President John Greendeer tried to change 18 money last year so kids wouldn't get it in one lump sum. He wanted part of it to be tied to going to university or getting a job. But tribal lawmakers refused to endorse his changes. From a 10,000 foot look at everything, you have to be able to accept the fact that dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars on someone who just turned 18 is not the right thing to do. So change has to come. This is a whole cultural, it's a whole modal change um, that, that a community has to embrace before and welcome before it's made. There's a long learning curve for uh, financial success and it's not gonna happen overnight. It is graduation day. Big day for all the kids in Black River Falls High School, but particularly a big day if you are Ho-Chunk. Hello, how you doing? You've already got a car, Andrew. You don't need a Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> Whose car is this? This is mine. That's yours. This is my baby. Cool. Right. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Oh, my mom made this for me. It's, oh, wow. uh, yeah, she made it all by herself, beadwork. How you doing? I'm, I'm nervous. Can I see what you... Sure. Wow. <laughs> it's so contagious, the excitement of all of these kids. I'm getting totally wound up just being here watching them get ready. Angela has brought her three-month-old daughter along to see her graduate. It's a very important day for your mum today. Oh, she's all dressed up. Look sharp. Don't leave without your diploma. Feed you the generic speech like you always hear at commencement. Celia, rain. Laundry. <laughs> Noah A. Brave. Yeah. Congratulations, class of 2015. We did it. Okay. Noah's extended family has come to see him graduate. This is his mother, Ruth. Did you think he would graduate? Yeah, I mean, I knew they will, you know, he wouldn't. And now it's a really exciting time for him because he's going to get his 18 money, and how do you feel about that? Mm, I guess it's mixed emotions, you know, because you just, like, hear different things about how people, you know, kids do spend it, you know, that wisely, you know. You know, I, I'm sure, you know, he'll do fine because he's... Got a good head on his shoulder. This is Noah's Aunt Georgiana, Celia Lone Tree's mother. You can have eat with us. That would be wonderful. Yeah, this is where the party is. Big house. This is my grandson. And this is Dega. Dega means uncle. So that's Dega Noah. To him. Oh, thank you. This is my grandson Noah. I'm so proud of him. My granddaughter, Celia. Mm -hmm. They grow up so fast. I just hope they go on to school to make themselves a better life. You know, there's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of temptations out there. I was 23 years old when I stopped drinking and sometimes I think it wasn't young enough. It's not worth it. Celia's already told me she plans to spend her money on going to college. But otherwise, everything that has happened to this moment, I really have to thank everyone, like, in this room. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. How many of your kids have graduated now? Three out of four. And are more Ho-Chunk kids graduating now than when you were their age? Yeah, there's probably twice as many. Why do you think there's so many more Ho-Chunk kids graduating? Because of the internet. <laughs> you don't give members of your family advice on how they should spend it when they turn 18? If you were turning 18 and I told you, spend it this way, what would you do? I would do the opposite. Or do any of, of your kids who've had their 18 money, do you think they have any regrets on how they spend oh, yeah. it? Like my son, he said that he would talk to you. Jerron is Noah's eldest brother. I started hanging around with people that were um, into, into drugs, you know, cocaine, 
So I was buying large quantities, and pretty much I was trying to be like uh, Tony Montana. You know, I don't know if you know him, but um, you were buying you were buying quantities of drugs, yeah. and to try and make more money selling it. Yeah. Jerome ended up in prison. When I got incarcerated, um, I was incarcerated for almost nine months. People were asking me for ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars. It didn't hit me till about I had ten thousand left. That I was like, wow. I'm almost down to nothing. The main thing that Noah said to me uh -huh. that he wanted to spend his money on was he wants to buy his family presents. That's what he said. He wants oh, to spend yeah. it on all of you. Well, see, I would even tell him not to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, there's going to be people that are just going to be like, hey, you know, give me 10,000. Give me you know, this and this. When is it going to stop? It's the day after graduation, my last day in Wisconsin. The car dealers in town are preparing to do a roaring trade. If you own a car like this, you've made it in America. But even with hundreds of thousands of dollars, the Ho-Chunk kids are unlikely to live the American dream. Before Chrissy came out, she had a British boyfriend. He also has videos of her, and she says he's using them to destroy her. Links came up that said, me fucking my ex, Chrissy Chambers. You don't see his face. You only see me, it's like being stabbed in the heart.